Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lexor, and I'll be your host today. Coming at you live from my crappy apartment in Frankfurt, Germany. And today I'll be starting a new series, a new format. A show, or I guess you could call it a podcast, where I'll be talking about anything, any topic related to gaming. Because this is, after all, a gaming channel. And anything I can't fit into a one to five minute rant while doing Let's Plays or any video, really, that I might be doing in the future. So let's see how it goes. So what I want to do is find a certain topic, of course, approach it, tackle it, try to explore it, present it to you, give my own opinions, and if necessary, do some research to get the numbers right, the facts, like dates or something, statistics. And then, then comes the most important part, and that is when I start to ask you guys questions. And it should usually start with what do you think about it? And I'll add to it more questions, more anything, whatever. Because that might change depending on the topic where I'm talking about. Because I don't want this to be, you know, just a video where I'll talk about one topic for like 10 minutes give my opinion that's it that's not the reason why I do this I want to do this I started this whole thing because I want to share my experiences and my thoughts my opinions with others and I want to hear their side share their hobby with me because we all like gaming and I want to open a discussion that's what I really want to do and I hope that will work and as you can see I put up some Battlefield 4 footage that I recorded a while ago in the background from a match. I thought to myself, hey, why not? Just put it up. It was a good match. But you guys don't have to watch it. It's just something for... If, if you want to watch, that's okay, of course, but... The most important thing is the sound, so you can minimize this and do something else. Just listen. And I'm playing music in the background. I hope it's not too loud, but I thought I'm still experimenting. I'm not I'm not sure which of these elements will keep being part of this format in the next videos, but let's see how it goes. I'm counting on some feedback after this, of course, to make this better in something you guys want to watch. So, <laughs> let's see. Why choose this topic? Why annual releases versus the GTAs, the Witchers, the Half-Lives, <coughs> Half-Life 3? <coughs> Why choose it? Well, first, it's of course it's not a topic I thought up by myself. It's, I, it's probably been around for at least five years, ten years. Every major gaming site, news site, magazine, you, you name it, talked about it at least once, at one point. So why, why choose it? Well, for one, it got... Recently, it, it, it got some more people talking about it again, because GTA V was released recently. And now it's the time again for the annual releases, the Call of Duties, the Assassin's Creed's, Battlefield is starting to become one of them. And I'm not even going to talk about the, uh, the sports titles, the FIFA's, the Madden's, because I'm not really playing them anymore and I think I won't be able to give a good opinion when it comes to those games. <laughs> and uh, the last sports game I remember buying was something called... Uh, Super Soccer International 64? Something like that. It, it was a game on the Nintendo 64. That was the last sports game I remember buying, so... <laughs> Let's get back on track here, I'm sorry. It's a really recent topic, and... At first, when I started to think about it, it was more like... Yeah. For me, it's a easy choice. Of course, I, I want the developers to have more time 
to work on their games, their products. So it's easy. Why why talk about it? There's there's nothing to talk about. But the more I thought about it, the the more interesting it got because there there are a lot of factors to it. There are more more perspectives to it, more sides. So the more I thought about it, the more things popped up in my head. And I hope I don't forget anything and keep it as structured as possible because I will be doing this. I don't have a script or something. I'm just looking at my screen now and there's some things. Might Google some stuff while I do this to, to get some numbers right, but here it goes. So I guess the first thing you hear when you try to, to, to point out this topic is the first thing is they complain about uh, it's more of the same old stuff again and the quality is so poor because they only had a year to work on it and so on which is true for for a lot of cases which is true so one might think hey it should be natural for everyone to choose to if we had a choice to choose to give every game developer more time like find the sweet spot anything between two to five years because I think we all at least once played a game where we thought man this this really feels rushed where th this is a really unpolished product so as an example I'm going to tell you about my experience with a recent game uh, which is Mass Effect 3 where I really thought, well, obviously spoilers, so I don't know how, uh, uh, how am I going to handle this. Maybe I'll put up a link or something, you can skip this. But especially the last third of the game where you are on Earth, especially on Earth, that it just felt really rushed, felt like they, this part of the game had like a week they put it together in a week because it felt like three multiplayer maps linked through some some tube levels and all you do is fight off waves and protect a rocket launcher against three or four waves of mobs and that was the war to take back Earth. That was the war they advertised. Oh, and there was another game. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this, and I'm sorry, Bioware, that you're getting mentioned twice, but I guess I have to. Dragon Age 2! I mean, a lot of you guys will know what I'm talking about. And I tried to find some solid information about this, but I heard from some people that it only was in development for a year. Just a year. And we all know how how it was received by the fans <laughs> I mean there were some good things I had I had fun with the combat but there there's just the other side that is so I don't even have to go into detail <laughs> most of you guys will know what I'm talking about it's just and this is just of course my opinion but I can take a good guess that there are more people that think the same and this this just shows how this kind of practice in the gaming industry can fuck up a game with a lot of potential that could have been so much more. And of course most of us want a certain level of quality from our games. We want to have fun while playing, not spend the time being angry at it constantly because they fucked it up, because they didn't have enough time or something. But there, at this point it gets really... There are a lot of factors. So first I think you have to really distinguish between the many different genres, the many types of games that are out there. Starting with, is it a multiplayer game or is it a single player game? And of course, for multiplayer there's Call of Duty. I played a lot of those games, but I think, in my opinion, I did not put as, as much hours as the core fans into this game. So I might be missing something from the perspective. But my guess is that the core fans of Call of Duty, they won't mind that, well, they're, they're certainly welcome it, that there's Call of Duty every year. 
that they're getting their fix. They really expect more of the same, of what they love. And then again, uh, Call of Duty is, is one of those special cases where there is a Call of Duty every year, but it is not made by the same company every time. Because Infinity Wards, or what's left of Infinity Wards, with another company tacked on, switches places, so to speak, with Treyarch every year. So this year, uh, Ghost came out, the year before, Black Ops 2 came out. So they, they switch places every time. So in theory, they have two years to work on it. And that should help them, of course. More time, more quality. So that may be a case where it works out because there are more people working on it in two companies. But getting back to other games, because I think it's really important. It, it, it will change from game to game. The other games, the, the, the exact opposite, like pure single player games like GTA or not anymore because GTA Online is there but almost for their single player experience Half-Life, Witcher, uh, The Elder Scrolls game, Skyrim which is another good example for a special case because players of that game will be different from the Call of Duty games uh, gamers in the sense that, that they won't mind Bethesda will take a few years to bring out these games because of the sheer content of these games like Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim they, they have a lot of content to play through so the people won't really mind waiting a few years until the next installment comes out and it gets especially interesting when people on the PC keep adding mods to it I mean, I, I am still adding mods to Skyrim and I got like 300 hours into one character alone and, and I'm not even finished with every major quest line. So it gets very interesting for PC players. But even without mods, there's so much content and I guess these players, and I'm one of them, won't mind waiting for the next Elder Scrolls game because we have something to do. And then there's, let's take Assassin's Creed. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good example. Assass Assassin's Creed, Black Flag just came out. It's mainly a single player game, of course. And here, the content is, was usually between, I don't know, let's say 15 to 30 hours. And that's it. Sometimes people would replay it, but it's not the same like Elder Scrolls games. Or Fallout, for that matter. Any role-playing game that has really a, a chunk of content behind it. So, the first... Assassin's Creed. Yeah, let's do this comparison. This is a really good one. GTA 5 came out this year and soon after Assassin's Creed Black Flag came out. So the first Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed 1, came out in 2007 in November. November the 14th. Which is, I don't know when I will be uploading this, but it's ex almost exactly six years ago. It has been six years since the first Assassin's Creed came out. Then, GTA 4, 4, that one in Liberty City with Nico, that one came out in April 2008. So they're pretty close together, like half a year, GTA 4 came out. So Rockstar, it took them like, I don't know when they started of course, but it took them five years after the release of GTA 4 to bring out the next installment, GTA 5. It took them five years. Now in the same time, in that same time, let me let me get this right. In this, at the same time, four Assassin's Creed games came out. Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, Revelations, and 3. And almost, almost Black Flag, but that doesn't count. It came out after five, but you see what I'm getting at. In that time span, all those games came out. Now consider this, what if, what if Assassin's Creed 2 would come out today, after 6 years, would the game be different in some way, because they had more time? What, what, what's that genre, that game type even, is it even necessary to do that? I mean, GTA games are open world, really content heavy games, that's probably the reason they, they take so long. At the same time, I think Rockstar can allow themselves to do this, but would, would the game change? I mean, certainly, uh, 
they, they would have come up with more features. They had so many years to think about it and develop it, but maybe it wouldn't have changed at all. Maybe they have a certain roadmap to, to <laughs> leave some features out for the next installment, but we can't be sure. Probably won't find out. But it's a really interesting thought. So the real difference is really where you have to start. Is it a multiplayer game or is it a single player game? What type of genre is it? Is it a shooter? Because we know most of these shooters, they, they don't take more than 15 hours max. Like the new ones. Is it a role playing game? Is it a really heavy role playing game combined with open world like Skyrim? We can put hours after hours into it. Play it for years even. It doesn't get boring. Replay it. It's different every time. Create a new character. GTA is a bit different, but it's still a, a, a giant sandbox where you can spend your time <laughs> while you wait for the next game from Rockstar. Is it is it the Call of Duty? Is it a battlefield where you're, where the main focus is are the matches with them updates? New maps, new modes, where the people are probably really happy to see more of the same every year. So based on all that, it, it will change for everyone. And I guess I won't change my opinion about that I, I'm willing to wait for quality. Because we want good games, we, we don't want half-assed games like that. Of course, we're spending our money on it, what our money's worth. But you have to ask yourself what you want. Are you willing to wait for quality? Or do you want more of the same out fast or even with innovation, but very fast? And if we had the choice, if quality through some type of model they're working out, maybe the, the thing what uh, Call of Duty is doing with more companies doing it, but basically the same skeleton it's based upon. If we had the choice, of course, I think, of course, we would choose to have annual releases if it was possible for the companies to produce the same level of quality you'd get after five years. But <laughs> I, I don't have any solutions for this. So my question, of course, to you is, what do you think about this? What is your position? You have no problem to wait? Or you like your annual releases for some type of genres? of The same game? How many games do you buy in like half a year? Do you have the funds for it? I mean, for some people it won't be a problem. Sometimes not by choice, but that's, that's really what I want to know. What, what do you think about this and the current state of it all? The whole companies rushing out games, not having enough time because the publishers need more money, of course, they want to make more money. And how this affects the, the, the whole gaming landscape. The products that are available to us so I'm really looking forward to uh, some comments and <laughs> I know Google recently changed it all and I'm still trying to figure out how everything works I can't even reply to comments that were made before this change and I'm really interested in this to see how people will work this out or if they will change anything in the next months because from what I can see the overall feedback is not very positive but it's usually like this with new things right so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this new format I really hope to do more of these uh, please leave feedback just tell me what you think what you thought about it if I should keep playing music on low volume in the background if I should keep keep up with the gameplay footage in the background or I should just use a just, just some picture that is not moving which would certainly help my rendering time cut it by like I don't know two-thirds at least because most rendering is for moving pictures uh, footage <laughs> it might be very surreal to watch <laughs> Battlefield 4 footage where it just where just people are shooting each other while loungy music is playing in the background. I'm really, <laughs> I'm really looking forward to the reactions, how this came across. And what do you think about this format overall? If that is something that interests you, 
so let me just know in the comment section and I know I wasn't as uh, fluent as I could have been and I apologize for any hiccups and long pauses I had it was rather me trying to really improvise about this topic and I wanted to keep it as simple and small as possible for the first video I realized this is probably not the most interesting topic but it's a it's a it's a good thing to start with and we'll see what the future brings and I hope you guys will stick around to find out and I will see you guys on the next episode have a nice day